Good morning. So uh, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all boys. Um, so for Valentine's Day today, I don't have a significant other or anything like that. Not to be like cliche on like, well, it's self-love day, but it is gonna be a self-love day for me. Um, self-love, self-care. So I am actually getting ready to go for a run. I typically run um, on Sundays. Like I do like my extended runs. I do cardio, try to do cardio at least two to three times a week out of the week. Um, but Sundays I do like my extended. So I'll try to do like five mile runs or whatever. Uh, so I'm going out to this trail that I like in Boca um, to go for a run there and I'm just gonna stretch because last week I went for my run and I did not stretch and I felt every piece of that so <clears throat> I'm just going to get some stretches in I don't laugh at me because I'm not flexible at all and my stretches are poo but that I normally go on for that and after that I am gonna go to a park um, do some journaling some reflecting some goal setting um, do some self-care self-appreciation um, and things like that and then later on my sister's birthday is actually tomorrow so I um, plan to take her to dinner I'm gonna try to or lunch I'm gonna try because it is Valentine's Day and people are booked and busy. So I'm gonna try my best to do that and um, go from there. But today is all about Asia and seeing what Asia wants to do. So checking with you guys after my run. All right, so I'm at the halfway mark for my run and I just wanted to check in with you guys because the view is absolutely beautiful. It's a great day. The weather, like the sun isn't like stupid beaming. It has an overcast, getting a nice breeze, but just wanted to do a check-in. Halfway mark. sweat off now I'm about to practice some more self-care I'm going to um, I don't use lotion uh, on my body I feel like it's too like a grease feeling so I always right after I get out the shower I always um, use body oil and this is the one that I typically like to use it's the J.R. Watkins body oil mist uh, coconut and honey and it's absolutely amazing like amazing and then before I actually do this one, I go in with the bio oil and I put that kind of all over my body, especially areas that were exposed by the sun, even though I do put on sunscreen before I run, but um, you know, give myself all the feels and whatnot. Uh, I figured I would do like a nice hydrating face mask. Um, I'm gonna try out a friend's, finally try out actually, my friend's skincare line. Um, 
I won a sweepstakes raffle giveaway literally last year and I'm just now getting around to trying his products but it is Carol Bella is the brand name and I got the intense moisturizing cream that I won the exfoliating scrub And he also threw in for me because that's the regular collection. This is the rose clay paste from the rose collection. And it comes with a cute little spoon that I can scoop it out and put it on my face. But I am going to give this stuff a try and do a nice mask, listen to some music, maybe sip a little something. And then after I do that, I'm going to get ready to go get something to eat. I'm starving and I figure I want sushi. So that's where I'm gonna go. So right now I'm gonna go in with the exfoliating scrub. It's, uh, it says it's supposed to detoxify, smooth and moisturize. And it says the product is packed with superfoods, antioxidants and essential oils to leave your skin smoother, softer and more hydrated. Um, and that's exactly what my skin needs right now. Well, it smells good. I want to do a mask on my face. So I'm going to go in with the rose clay paste. Now this one has rose water aloe vera, alkaline clay, rose petal, coconut oil, avocado oil, algae oil, and other vitamins and essential oils. So, now this one smells lovely. And that's what it looks like. So we're just gonna scoop out. And I'm just gonna let this kinda sit on my face. Scoop a small amount into hand, which I did. Use fingertips to massage a thin layer onto face, which I did. Let the paste sit for 20 to 25 minutes before rinsing thoroughly with water. Pat skin dry. So I'm gonna let this sit on my face for 20 minutes and let it do its thing. So. some reflective writing, some goal setting, um, writing down the things that I'm really appreciative for about myself, about life, um, things that I'm looking forward to, um, and things like that. I typically do this at the beach under a full moon, like once a month, um, but I figured today would be a good day to do some self-love and some journaling and reflecting. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I got fries, cause I love fries. So I got some Wendy's fries and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna chill out and it's gonna be great. And I'm 
just really, really excited. I don't want any interruptions on my day, on my self-love moment, and it's gonna be great. So right now, in this part of my journaling, I am writing down the things that I love about myself, the things that I want for myself. Um, and it can be physical attributes, it can be personality characteristics. I'm just listing any and all things. Hi guys. I am. Yep. Hold up. <laughs> Thank you. I was at the park. Woo. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, let me, no, wait a minute, all right, there we go. <laughs> That's so the people can get into it. You gotta do something to it and fold it, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, you see that snossages, you see the snossages. Oh, you see the hooves. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, what if we roll down the hill? Oh, that would not be fun. No. Because I'm the big one. It's all been on me. Oh, my gosh. Really? How are you going to get with the, get me with the big sister? With the little sister that's bigger than the big sister? <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. Honestly, this would be really nice for my photo shoot, like, towards the end. Yes. For sure. So, we are wrapping up the self-love lover's day <laughs> valentine's day celebration um not me though i didn't celebrate it so elders don't come at me <laughs> right <laughs> well this is more of like a self-care self-love day versus anything else but we're wrapping it up took a couple cute shots at the sunset oh and now we're heading back to my mom's I meant to show you guys my Valentine, my Galentine's Day gifts because I didn't do that. Um, my girls went all out. I have bags within bags within bags of stuff. So I need to like look through it and I'm super excited. Okay. So my girls and I exchanged gifts for Galentine's Day. And this is a super We gave each other cards, we gave each other candy, we gave each other gifts. Um, okay, but right now I am sipping out of a tumbler that one of my girls gave me. We got this super cute adult reusable face mask because COVID. Got some Starburst, some candies. We got. We got some chocolates. Oh, shiny shot. More chocolates. Oh, more candy. More candy. And cards. And these super cute earrings. 
So those that know me, I am, or don't, getting to know me, I'm a Cancer. So uh, my birthday is in July and Cancers are ruled by the moon. That is our ruling planet. Um, and I am constantly going out to the beach to gaze at the stars, to look at the moon, to be one with the moon, all of the things. And one of my Galentines knows that <laughs> about me. Um, and she got me these. Like, how cute and sentimental is that? And the literal cutest card ever. Like, I'm not gonna read it to you guys because it's super cute and personal and just know that it's adorable. Again, beach theme because I'm always going to the beach, always gonna look at the moon, all the things. So those are my Valentine's Day gifts. I gave the girls that you guys saw when I was putting the bags together their gifts. They all love them. I wrote personal handwritten notes in each of the cards and it's all love, baby. Valentine's Day 2021 was a huge success and I love all of my friends so, so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. And until next time.